morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming here. We highly do appreciate your presence, and I must sincerely apologize that we're starting an hour behind schedule, but we're kickstarting the program immediately without further ado. Once again, I'd like to say a very good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming. My name is Wolfai Samuel, and I'm your host for the 2018 edition of Africa Oil and Gas Talent Summit. As we all know, this event was conceptualized in 2018. The first edition and the second edition of the event, respectively, was held in Ghana under the chairmanship of the President of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Akufo Addo. I thought I was going to get around the round of applause for that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so at this point, I'd like to say a big thanks to the organizers for deeming it fit to have Nigeria as the host country for this event. As we all know from the backdrop, the theme for this year's event is people as the real assets. Delivery, growth, and innovation in the new normal of oil and gas. That's the theme and the topic for this year's conference. Now the question is, in a country like Nigeria, talking about Africa, in a country like Nigeria where we have 190.9 million people as a population, how do we turn <coughs> this number of people we have in Nigeria into assets. Talking about the labor force, how do we convert our labor force, our population which is more or less like a, a comparative advantage, how do we turn it into an asset? How do we turn this into capital? That's what this platform is basically about. Now there are lots of leaders who are gathered here, each and every one of these very important in their respective fields. Ministries, agencies in the oil and gas industry are hereby represented, as well as HR practitioners from different sectors in the oil and gas industry, talking about the upstream sector, talking about the downstream and the oil servicing sector, you're all here, would be brainstorming on our ideas, would profess strategies on how we can move the conversation forward, talking about people, how can people become an asset in today's evolving markets in the oil and gas industry. So today's program will be revolving around presentations, we'll have different presentations, keynote speeches would be delivered by different stalwarts who are seated right in here, Mrs. Fatima Selly, thank you so much for coming. Engineer Phoenix, we're happy to have you here. We're happy to have Mrs. Amobi here as well. Mrs. Enifre and the rest of them. They'll all be giving us different speeches as to how humans, as to how people can become an asset in the oil and gas industry. Very quickly, I'd like to run us through the program for today. Our agenda will kick start with our introduction and opening, which will be taken by Engineer Phoenix, Aye Morfuri. He's the executive consultant operations Pan Ocean New Cross Group. We'll also be having a good view message to be taken by Mrs. Pat <coughs> Maselli. She is here by representing the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum, Dr. Ibe Kachiko. Thank you very much. Shortly after that, we'll be having our keynote address, and the subject matter for our keynote will be on delivering innovation and growth amidst market uncertainties generational shifts and disruptive technologies, insights from the financial service sector. That will be taken by Funke Amobi, Group Head, Human Capital, Stambik IDT team. Still for the first session of the program, we'll be having a global context, that's a discussion, which will be revolving around global energy trends and implications for Africa. We'll also review oil and gas workforce trend, and that will be taken by Nife Atobiloe, GPHR Managing Consultant, Human Leadership Resources. The first panel session will be the CEO Roundtable, leading in the new normal, imperatives for HR. HR as a business partner, imperatives for the new normal. would have three persons who would be on that panel. And shortly after that, we'll finalize the first session for today's program with our local content in focus. The local content will be, will be dealing on evolutionary and revolutionary trends, examining existing models for continued relevance amongst a changing industry. That will be taken by someone from NCDNB. Very quickly, I'd like to say at this point in time that AGOS 2018 is created to be the meeting point, the convergent point for HR leaders, like I did say earlier, and for senior executives in the oil and gas industry. Like I did tell you all, how do we advance the discussion on how to turn and transform our human resources into assets? How do we transform our human capacity into assets, especially for a country like Nigeria and the regions of sub-Saharan Africa? Very quickly, I'd like to make welcome our first speaker for today. He would be taking, he would be doing the introduction and the opening remarks for this event. So officially set the agenda open. I'd like to make welcome 
very, very humbly, Engineer Felix Amiyeyofure. He is the Executive Consultant Operations Pan Ocean New Cross Group. But very quickly, I'd like us to run through his profile. Engineer Felix began his career in the oil and gas industry as a production technologist with Shell, SPDC, in 1990. Before joining Pan Ocean Oil Corporation in 1993, he worked for 15 years, where he worked for 15 years. He served the company in various capacities as Chief Petroleum Engineer, Petroleum Engineering Manager, Technical Manager, and General Manager. He created New Cross Petroleum and led the Energy Air JV team to first oil exploration and production in 2009. Engineer Felix is an MBA holder from Lagos State University, a master's degree holder in economics from Institute of Business School, Enugu, a master's degree holder in petroleum engineering with Harris Watt University in the United Kingdom. He obtained LLM in business law with Leicester Law School in the United Kingdom. He's a member of Foreign, NSE, ICEN, NIM, and Society of Petroleum Engineers. He's a recipient of several national and international awards. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, delegates, I'd like us to make welcome our first speaker for today, Engineer Felix Amirio Perrin, as he takes his opening remarks and welcome address. Welcome to us for Thank you. Thank you very much.